My dear friends, welcome back. This is Bera and I'm going to bring to you an amazing topic in grammar. We are going to do the interesting topic of simple, compound and complex sentences. First of all, what type of questions could be asked in this topic? Let's see. Transformation. Changing from simple to compound, compound to complex, vice versa. Complex to simple, whatever. And synthesis. Combining two or more sentences into a simple sentence, a compound sentence or a complex sentence. My dear friends, believe me, this topic is super duper easy. Let's first start with the meaning of what are simple sentences, what are compound sentences, and what are complex sentences. For that we should know this word called verb. Do you remember we had done finite verbs and non-finite verbs? Let's just revise them because they are so important for this topic. Verbs can be classified as finite verbs and non-finite verbs. Finite verbs are those which have or can have a subject before them and which show a tense. But non-finite verbs, well, subject is just impossible before these verbs. Fantastic, my dear friends. Now, let's look at these two examples. The old man fainted and died. Don't look at me, I'm alive. While running, he fell. The old man fainted and died. We are trying to find out the finite verbs in this sentence. There are two verbs, fainted, died. Which is the finite verb? Or are both these verbs finite? Let's find out. Very, very simple. Fainted is a finite verb because man is the subject. Who fainted? The man fainted. We know subject is the noun or the pronoun before the verb in an assertive sentence. Died. Is that also a finite verb? Yes, it is, my dear friends. Because the subject, he, is possible before died. But look at this sentence. While running, he fell. Here also there are two verbs. Fell is a finite verb. Why? Because he is the subject. But running. Well, you can clearly see the subject is not possible. Even if you try to put a he in the sentence. While he running, he fell. Bad grammar. Not possible. So, finite verbs and non-finite verbs. But before we move on, let us not forget that all auxiliary verbs are finite verbs. Am, is, are, was, were, have, has, had, do, does, did, can, could, will, would, shall, should, may, might, must, ought to, used to, need, dare. All these verbs are finite verbs. Now, it becomes easy to define a simple sentence, a compound sentence, and a complex sentence. Let us start with simple sentence. A simple sentence, my dear friends, is a sentence which has only one finite verb. Look at this sentence. After reaching America, Abhijit met Pradyuman. My dear friends, you can see there are two verbs here. Name them, reaching met. But reaching is not a finite verb because my dear friends, reaching does not have a subject and cannot have a subject. On the other hand, met is a finite verb because the subject Abhijit is there. So, this sentence has got only one finite verb, therefore it is a simple sentence. Isn't that amazing, my friends? We have learned already what is a simple sentence. A simple sentence is a sentence that has only one finite verb. In the next module, you and I together are going to do a recap of what we have done and move on to what is a compound sentence, what is a complex sentence. See you in the next module, my dear friends.